Eddie Robinson, who is one of the featured artists in the first show, on the first floor show on the World Chess Hall of Fame. Actually, Christian introduced that um, a few days ago, Painted Pieces. Beautiful exhibit. Um, indeed, and she also gave an artist talk, and we did a workshop, um, which she hosted. So she's going to tell, yeah. And I, mine was a disaster. But we you painted, about you me. painted a chess piece. I did. All right, where, where's the evidence? <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get to that, but first. Nettie and Maurice. Yes, Nettie Robinson, she is indeed an artist, but she's also a jazz singer and a saxophonist as well. Multi-talented lady I have here to my right. Nettie, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. You had this great lecture you gave us on painted pieces that was all about art and, and, uh, and chess, the connection. Mm. Tell us how that idea came about. The idea for that particular piece that I did. So... Um, when I was asked by, um, by Simon of Perling London to put a set together for this show, um, I decided to do something that had a message. So it was bringing, um, bringing a kind of um, looking at the um, plastic pollution and the bleaching of corals and sort of putting that on the, on, on the board, actually sort of creating a beautiful set, but also that had a message as well. And all the pieces in this exhibit had some kind of messages that we're seeing there mm. on the screen right now. Just absolutely fantastic yeah, pieces. Yeah, really beautiful, yeah. You, you look at this and the artists that were given this task, well, what exactly did, did well, you tell them? Well, um, everyone, the key thing is that everyone was given the same set. So we all got classic Staunton pieces um, and using that as a, as a blank canvas. It's amazing, as you can see, how many different sets that you can get. It's endless. So every artist had their own take on it. Some were, were purely decorative, some had a message, um, and, and some were, were really playable, and others were deliberately not so. They were actually very, very difficult. Um, some were sort of almost like camouflage. So as you move the pieces, it becomes very difficult to differentiate and the idea of all that kind of chaos and turmoil going on on the board. Look, absolutely beautiful. And then mm. we got to create our own chess sets as well. We you were students. I, I had a great fun. <laughs> Although I have to say it was a little bit torturous. I spent about an hour and a half on my little queen that I was doing uh, was afterwards. And that was an interesting process. It was excellent. How yeah. often do you lead a people who are amateurs in the <laughs> painting process. Ah, yeah, well, I've, I've done quite a lot of teaching. Um, so um, so I've, I've done, uh, um, I think the most scary one was I did um, a, a portrait workshop where I had to stand in front of an, a huge room of people painting uh, in front of them and demonstrating. Um, but I, I run regular classes, um, so, so I'm... I'm oh, we okay. saw, we see a little there we go. Foggy on there, there Jennifer's go. son. Bless him. <laughs> and Yasser, yes, hard at work on his piece. Oh, there goes his <laughs> familiar face, <laughs> suffering at the board. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was interesting, people came up with a lot of good ideas. I know Rex did, did his, in, his in about five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah some were quicker than others. It was, oh look, you look hard at work there thinking very carefully about all these designs and the colors. It was great. And you really plan to actually make an actual chess set yeah, out of the work we did. That's right. So the plan is that I'll take everything back to the UK and I will create a board. So it'll be a painted board and then everything will be professionally lacquered and it will be, be sent out here to be an exhibit. We're yeah. artists. Wow. I know. Add that amazing. To, the, to the resume. <laughs> <laughs> you also use chess as a major theme in your art I do. and we have uh, many images of you ch drawing the chess players That's who right. are playing in this tournament absolutely as a matter of fact, yeah which is quite fantastic as you see there <laughs> a great piece of anons yeah. what motivated you to to want to do this i know you're a chess player yourself yeah and that you enjoy the game but look aronian yeah. there as well T tell us yeah. why you were motivated to um to make some the art of the players yeah well it really, my, my art is, is always about things that I'm passionate about. Uh, so chess was something I got into relatively recently. And because I absolutely love portraiture, um, it makes sense to do pictures of, um, of the actual grandmasters uh, as well. Just wonderful photo there. What is this one? <laughs> Who's lovely? I've never seen well, lovely push a pawn in hate. <laughs> now, this, this was interesting. This was a commission that uh, someone wanted this. They found online an advert of, for milk, I think it's just milk, 
um, and they just thought it would be a hilarious image. So, so they got me to do a painting yeah, so of you this. you know Victor. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of his look. And what the, was that last move? And at the end of the at the end of the at the, at the end, he ga it gives up and the cow wins. It's hilarious. <laughs> <Yeah>. it's <laughs> hilarious. You see their Magnus playing in Vichy in their World Championship that's match, right, yes. and it's great. I love the image here of Magnus. Oh, he nice. just you've captured his intensity oh, as a player at, at the board <laughs> and thank MBL. You. Indeed, yes. So what I like to do with these um, is I'll, I'll take video footage and take my own stills. So, I, so it's, it's actually good because then you can feel something. You get a sense of what's going on and you get a sense of how they're moving and how, they're, how they are at the board. And I find that's a, a good way of just taking a snapshot um, of, of, what's, of, of some videos. Capturing yeah. the Capturing those players, the definitely. Moment. I'd love yeah. to see those. Are you, those are... are you, those in your possession in London? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, some I of them. Okay, I definitely want to see that yeah. when I visit yes, London indeed. later in the of year. Yes, of course, yes. You're also, just stepping aside from chess for just a quick second, yeah. you're also a, a singer and saxophonist. I, yes, I am, yeah. So so music is, a, is another big thing for me, and singing is something I've done forever. Um, and yeah, so I, I do a lot, of, a lot of singing. I do quite a lot of stuff with my husband, Tony Woods, who's fantastic as uh, a saxophonist and he's also a great songwriter so we've written he's written loads of really amazing songs for me to sing wow, which is great incredible yeah. stuff of family yeah. yes. uh, who plays together and sings together <laughs> stays together it's good it's good yeah <laughs> uh, final question yes. who's your favorite in this tournament uh, you have a favorite player anybody oh, wow. you would like to see win oh gosh that's, don't a, that's a tough here, one but... no i know it's that's a shame um that's a tough. That's a tough call. I think. Uh, I know. I was talking to Simon before I before I came over here, and he said how great it would be if um, Fabiano, uh, you know, mate, you know, did did the job here and, and went like on. To, that's <laughs> a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Politically correct answer. Yeah, in the United so. States. You can that from the <laughs> well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your work. It was fantastic. Oh, and I want to see my my chess piece. I'm oh, you will. To that. It'll be lovely. <laughs> Nettie Robinson. Artist, singer, saxophonist, chess player. What doesn't this lady do? <laughs> Great stuff. And uh, just a quick question for you, Nettie, because when we did the workshop, I yes. thought it was really cool the way you set it up. Uh, you divided the class into two halves. One, one part of the class had warm colors, yes. and the other part of the class had cool colors right. so that the chess sets will be distinguishable That's by right. their colors. Tell us a little bit of the... Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so I was was thinking about some themes that you could do, and I, I always think it's important to to have a set that's not only lovely and painted and individual, but also playable. Certainly, when I've done any of the the chess sets for Perling London, I've always made sure that they're differentiated. So we thought uh, having warm colours one side with the with a nice gold colour and the the cool side, including some silver, and it would be great because. You could just use whatever from the palette of p potential colours, um, but it will all go together because we made sure that no one swapped paints from one side <laughs> to the I other. I wanted some of the cool colours <laughs> yeah, to fit what I was doing, but yeah, I, I, know, was, you I was stuck to. on the warm side. <laughs> yeah. Although, you know, I made it work you out. You did good. 